Hi YouTube, this is George from MigBuddy.com and today we're going to be building a dolly for a car body or frame of a car. It's going to be more of a general purpose dolly and, and therefore we're going to be making it out of you know a little heavy, heavier steel and it'll be a little uh, uh, more robust than most that you've seen out there. Um, the other thing we're going to demonstrate is how to get alignment of these parts quickly and accurately with, with some new tools that are out on the market, some things that I've learned about, I'm going to pass them on to you guys. Okay, let's go look at some designs. If you look out on the internet, there are endless amount of dolly configurations that exist. You know, some of them are even made of wood, I mean, which is fine as long as it holds up to the application. But the designs out there are endless, so our design... Uh, we tried to make it again more universal and could adapt to you know many situations. So for the design, we chose a basic H pattern, and as you can see, it's uh, constructed of uh, two by two by three sixteen inch tubing, uh, eighty four inches on the length and on the width, about a total of forty inches, and then uh, there's going to be four vertical supports. I'm only showing one of them there. And it's going to slide along the uh, horizontal 2x2 tubing by using receiver tubing, which slips right over it. And then there'll be a riser from there, also a receiver tubing. And then as you can see in the picture, uh, <laughs> there's a little stub of a 2x2 sticking out there, which will be the adjustable uh, vertical support when it's completed. Okay. Here are the components for our dolly, uh, already fabricated and uh, have nuts welded on. I'll show you how that comes together later. But the uh, the parts on the left side are made of receiver tubing, and they will be the verticals that slide across a beam from left to right. Um, the the smaller pieces of receiver tubing will be where the verticals are attached, and to the right of that are the wheel plates, and all the way to the right we have uh, two inch tubing which will slide within the verticals. So that's our basic setup for the uh, for the dolly right now. Now it's uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, weld it together. What I'm going to demonstrate is a very common problem. When you're trying to align uh, uh, two things to make a 90 degree angle and you don't have a welding table big enough or a flat surface <laughs> that's even. And that's the case here, and a lot of folks have that problem. So what I'm going to do is demonstrate a tool I just got recently, a couple of months ago, um, from uh, a Fireball Tools uh, from Jason, who invented this thing. And he's got a series of tools, but this particular one, you'll see how it aligns it on a common plane, no twisting of the tubes, and we'll have a perfect 90 degree angle. Our goal here again is to have these two pieces to be exactly 90 degrees. That's where this tool comes in that I just mentioned. These tabs are ones I've constructed to make them a little longer. Uh, it comes with a little shorter tabs, but they're going to be they're going to be making larger ones. Um, okay, so how does it work? Slip it under here, and let me find the alignment that I need. Line it up with my mark that was described earlier. And simple as locking it in here and locking it in here. And then we're going to check the alignment. Looks good. Cut. Okay, we're going to tack this together right now, a little anti-spatter on there.
Okay, now that we've got it tacked together on this side, I want to put another tack on the other side before we fully weld it up. But we run into an issue. Because there's a tack here, this no longer sits here. No longer sits 90 degrees. Well, Jason has thought of that, and he has another tool that goes exactly there to fix the problem and then we simply lock it in place like the other tool check our alignment around and now you can reach in here here perfect our weld is now complete and we can move on to the next corner. Now that we finish the first corner, we're going to use the same method with this great square to do the alignment here. Set it up. In place. A clamp. Check the alignment. Looks great. Now that we got both sides welded, I put on the horizontal sliders that are going to hold the verticals as I mentioned in the diagram when we first started. So I've set up the remaining two corners using both uh, squares that uh, give us perfect 90 degree and by using the tabs on the bottom they ensure that the tubing is not rolled and, and we're going to get a great weld there. Okay, off to weld. So now the frame is totally welded together and the horizontal sliders are in place and now we're going to weld on the uh, vertical supports. Uh, I have one already jigged up over here. As you can see the square gives you a perfect uh, 90 degree angle and the tabs just help facilitate keeping it flat and not rolling. So the next next scenes you'll see I'll have it all welded together and, and we'll show it uh, in almost semi-complete state. We now have all four vertical posts uh, welded in place onto the horizontal sliders and getting ready to put the wheel plates on see the vertical there and yeah, the wheel plate there and then we'll attach the wheels probably tomorrow so it's kind of getting late I'll probably finish up the wheel plates tonight and then tomorrow um, put the wheels on and uh, show you the finished thing okay well, we have all four wheel plates uh, welded on, and now we're going to proceed to uh, attach the wheels. We chose a pretty large wheel. This is an 8 inch diameter wheel, it's uh, 450 pounds per wheel. You know, because the structure is kind of heavy, you know, 2 inch tubing by, by 3 sixteenths. So uh, I think this will make it, you know, roll a lot easier. Um, all right, let me get the wheels on and then uh, show you the next stage. So now all four wheels are attached to the cart and uh, our cart is complete. You know, as, I, uh, as we said in the design, it's uh, definitely more of a universal uh, cart or dolly uh, to hold many different things. You know, car body, truck body, frame, whatever. And here I'm demonstrating you know one of the verticals that um, 
you know, totally adjustable, could even develop a different piece if you wanted to. Uh, and um, we're actually going to start uh, a project that just came up. It's a uh, 1930 Model A 5 window, and uh, we're going to be taking the body off and uh, putting it onto here. So uh, be on a lookout for that video. Thanks for watching.